This is the book of Revelation chapter 3 and verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. This is the Kara Province in Babylon, down here in Tampa, Florida, on the brother Kassa and to my left. Brother Ashar. And right now, we're going to go into a quick hit. I want to like to give double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and rule well. And peace, blessing, love, health, and wellness, and all salutations to the whole for elect that scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth that are living in this truth with all sincerity. Shalom. And rock a thumb to the Akhwatia, the few sisters that are listening and learning in. Straight to the point, let's get to the lesson. Bring that back, Baba Kasha. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, mm -hmm. that no man take thy crown. So the Lord is saying, Behold, I come quickly, man. All right. And it said, hold thy fast which thou hast, man. So we talk about this truth, man. All right, you got to hold on to this truth. Okay, scripture say that he that shall endure to the end of the same shall be saved. All right, so the Lord is the Lord is coming quickly, man. So you got to hold that fast which thou hast so no man take your crown. I remember the head of my, uh, the second head of our camp, all right, a couple months back. We had to finish camp, but we was all talking to each other. And he said, right now, brothers, you have to understand something. We all have that spiritual crown in our hand. But we can't physically see it, all right? But you have to physically, you have to spiritually know you got it in your hand. So that what? So that you never lose it, man, okay? God, yes. and that also goes into the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. As man. we're following the ways of Yahweh Shah, which is these scriptures, That's right. all right? We have that spirit on us. So guess what? Other people see that, and they don't like that, man. The demons that's on these people, they don't like that we have this, the spirit of righteousness, man, which is the spirit of wisdom, man. All right. right, I'm gonna go into this. Uh, I got a preacher. Uh, this is the book of St. Luke, chapter 15, starting at verse 18. And it reads, If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you, right? It hated Yahweh Shah before it hated us, man. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the same thing that we're doing now, Yahweh Shah was doing, letting you know that wrong was about to fall, man. Letting you same niggas know that wrong was about to fall, man. And that devil was about to come down with great wrath. And that's exactly what the men of the Lord are doing right now. All right, so if they hated Yahweh Shah, what you think they gonna do to us, man? Okay, verse 19. If he were of the world, the world would love his own, right? And we been came out of this world, man. Scriptures say, uh, look, grab that for me, uh, Baba Kasha, love not the world. Okay, cool. You see? Because scriptures say, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, man. You see? Cool, Read right. on, it says, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chose you out of the world, therefore the world hated you, right? So your family, all right, why? Because you don't want to celebrate the nigga, the, the, the pagan holidays. All right, Jake love to get up with each other on Thanksgiving, but the whole year be wicked. Jake love to want to go out there and put on the matching onesies and shit for Christmas and don't even know what that shit means. Eve love to go do this uh, this, this this pagan holiday that's about to come up Halloween. Because why? They could be their alter ego and be it for free and not have to worry about nobody saying shit to this harlot ass bitch. You see? Go ahead. This is the book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world. It said love not the world, man. Love not the so love not none of this shit, man. The fashion of this world will pass away. Go ahead. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in the world. So fuck your car. Don't get job. Sleazy eat your boss. Hell your damn woman. <laughs> you see? Your house, your career, none of that shit. Love not those things. These are the things that are in this world, man. Go ahead. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If any man love this world, the love of the Father is not in him, man. Mm -hmm. The love of the Father is not in you. Why? Because you don't have no truth, man. You just live in this world with, with carefree. Gone and also, Job 9 and 24 says, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. That's so right. if you love the Most High, which is the Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you will keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. And you can't, fo you can't follow his commandments 100% in this wicked rulership, man. That's why this place is going to be destroyed. And that's the will of the Heavenly Father to set up a righteous kingdom that will never be destroyed. That's right. So that means that you can't join with this devil, man. You can't join his ways. You can't join his philosophy, or his teaching, mm -hmm. everything, his way of life. Because mm -hmm. it will lead you to the destruction that the Most High has set for this kingdom, man. This rulership. All right? This system. And I got to preach up real quick. Because we have the spirit of the prophets on us. As it's written, the spirit of the prophets Are is subjected, subjected to, to the, the prophets. prophets. So 
So no matter right. what, the prophets are going to prophesy the downfall of all these kingdoms, man, that are set up. That's and right. the people that's joined on to these kingdoms, they are going to be angry at the prophets, man. They're going to hate the prophets because they love this place, man. Yep. This is yep. all what they put their... um. What was that saying? Go, don't put all your eggs in a basket or something yep, like that. Yep, yep, they put yep. all their eggs in the basket, man. They mm -hmm. trust this place, man. Yep. All right, so when this place falls, they're gonna fall with it. And the reason why they hate the prophecy is because they want to be, they see that. See, the thing is, is these Babylonians, man, they're so caught up in this Christian doctrine. They want love to be preached all the time. They want you to forget the white man for what he done. No, fuck him. He got to die. He has to go. Okay, he still got you niggas oppressed. Okay, he got you still stacked up in these damn houses thinking you in an apartment complex, but you still stacked up like damn sardines, just like how you was on the ship, man. Okay, this place has to fucking go, man. Everywhere you turn is nothing but wickedness, man. You see Eve walking with the serpent. You see a sodomite on the street. You see a, 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 wannabe, a, a wannabe damn man, but she a whole woman. And that same bitch gonna be looking for a man in that time of trouble, man. Uh -huh. Go ahead. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old mm -hmm. prophesied both against many countries. Against many countries. The prophet, like he just said, the, the, uh, the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. So, for, so in the old times, what does it say? Scripture say what? Everything that was written before time was written for your learning, man. So the prophets of old prophesied out of many countries, and that's exactly what the brothers are doing right now in these highways and byways, man. Because you got Jake waking up all over the world. Why? Because we were scattered abroad, okay? Prophesying the downfall of this kingdom, man. But people don't want to believe that. People think that Babylon going to forever live on, man. No. Job 14 and 5, okay? He only had a short time of rulership, man. That's why he going to come down with that great wrath, man. I'm going to grab that. Go ahead. This continuing reads, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. A and, war and mm -hmm. evil and pestilence, man. War is going on right now, okay? Evil, what evil, evil goes into bad times and pestilence. You got this whole C-19 bullshit, okay? Take it back to the Tuskegee experiment, all right? When this devil uh, 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 poked all of them jakes. Well, what? With syphilis, man. So this devil had, then you got the, the, the MP shit, okay? You had this this C-19 with multiple different variants, man. That's his pestilence, man. Uh, uh, what is that? Isaiah 32 and 7, the instrument of the true law, evil, man. This, this devil has nothing but wicked devices to come to pass to get you niggas and submissive of him, man. Huh. When you really should be serving your howl while you howl shy, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Continuing, it reads on verse 9, it says, The prophet with pro... So look at the prophet which prophesied of peace. So look at the prophet which prophesied of peace. Mm -hmm. When the word of the prophet come, so look at when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai have truly sent him. Has truly sent him. Ezekiel 33 and 33. Lord will come, Lord will pass. Then have they known that the prophet have been among them, man. So you gonna know when all these, when all these perilous times come, you gonna know when the famine come. These same people out here that's walking past, nilly dilly, looking cock eyed, rolling their eyes and all that, they gonna be looking for the prophets. They gonna be looking for those true men that's been out there on the highways and byways serving your Howard while you have a shot. And guess what? They ain't gonna be able to find them. So then they gonna be what? Just like we read. I'm gonna grab that up. Uh, Con, go ahead and I want to add on this though Con. It say the prophet <coughs> which prophesied of peace So that's all these other churches Alright you know right. set up with these pastors They talk about prosperity They talk about longevity And this system and this kingdom And it said when it comes to pass you'll know But guess what yeah, how about Shemuel Shai, You know concerning Judah and Israel You know it's a, um, a, 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 a speech of fear man And not of peace all right, right. A, a, a speech of trouble, a speech of perilous times. And when we're talking about the speech, we're talking about the words of the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. All right, he set up men to bring out his word, man, his decree from the heaven. And then it's going to come to pass, you know, death, destruction, all right? And then the nukes is going to end this place, all right? We got famine coming, all right? That's going to show you who has the truth and who doesn't, man. All right, the end, at the end it shall speak and not lie, man. Habakkuk 2 and 3. Um, that was it on that? Yeah. That was All right, I'm going to uh, finish up on this St. John. We went back to St. John chapter 15, starting at verse 20. It says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. 
if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also, man. So if they persecuted Yahweh Shah, mm -hmm. what you think they're going to do to you? Mm -hmm. What you think they're going to do to us, man? Especially the prophets, mm -hmm. man. Now, two-thirds of our people, they just got to go. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they have to go. They're not going to get it here. They're not. Mm -hmm. But for the man of the Lord, if they persecuted Yahweh Shah, they shall persecute you, man. Yeah, come on, man. You got to count the cost when you're in this truth, man. The lot of a prophet, man. You got to understand how you got to just fulfill scripture, man. That's you know, right. the devil will cast some of us into prison. That's but I say, right. be thou faithful unto death. I got that. Okay, come on. You can bring real that quick, up. Real but quick, real quick. But we got to get into persecution. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. I was just Because that's that. going to come, you know. You know, just being in this truth, you know, having the spirit of Yahweh Shah on you, people are going to hate you, man. That's All right. right? They're going to want to persecute you. And we got the persecution and the etymology. So going into the definition of persecution, it says oppression for the holding of a belief or opinion. And that's what we're doing, man. When we go back to that revelation, 3 and 11, it said, what? Behold, I come quickly. Hold thou fast which thou hast, man. Cool. So we're holding on to this truth. We're holding on to what we believe in. And we truly believe that the Heavenly Father, who the world eagerly calls God, his name is Yahweh. We truly believe that the... Uh, that his only begotten son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shah. And we truly believe that he is the God and the power of Israel, man. And we truly believe, you know, humbly speaking, Yahweh writes off, that we will and shall be delivered about this place, man. So we're holding on to this belief. So therefore, they shall persecute you for what you believe in, man. Because you everybody see? else don't have what we have, man. Right, exactly. We have a true living power. That's everybody right. else don't. That's so they're right. going to be angry at you, man, that you have this truth. That the elect, you know, goes into an elite number of people, man. And out of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are the true Hebrew Israelites. And then there's an elect of the elect, man. The Most High has a chosen nation, but also he has a certain few men that are elite in the class, man. Right. And it goes in the ranking and order of, of um, you know, his um, men which is the governing body of Israel, man. That's right. So yeah. that's what we're fighting for, man. The, ones, right? that, the ones that's going to be the new, the, the ones that's going to be the new kings and rulers of the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. sitting on the 12 thrones, judging over the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, uh, man. So that's what we are fighting for, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab this preset. up. I got one real quick. Okay, this go ahead. Short, this this uh, Luke, this is the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 17. It reads, mm. and ye shall be hated of all men. For my name's of sake. all men, man. Mm -hmm. Of all men. That's not just going into men that you don't know. That's even going into the men of your family. That's even going into your family, man. Mm -hmm. Your own father going to hate you, man. Mm -hmm. When they got a bounty, when it's a bounty on your head, talk about, oh, 500,000 new points on your on your karagma. You don't think Jake going to be quick to want to uh, give up your location and give up your name? Oh, he's over there. He's over here. Yeah. Why? For your for the for the heavenly father's sake, name's sake, man. Uh -huh. You see, Go ahead. this is um Revelation chapter two and verse ten, and it reads, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days." And ten days is a complete number, you know. For everybody, it will be a certain number that the Most High has set to what prove you. That's to right. See if you're going to keep the faith, if you're going to hold right. fast what you have. And the devil is not some dude under underground with a red spandex suit with a triton, man, That's ready to right. stab you, man. It's a human being, mm -hmm. which is what? A, a person, which is the so-called white man, that has the ability to deceive you. Because devil goes into the oblos, which means deceiver. And what is he going to deceive you from? These scriptures, man. The righteousness. All right? He's going to blind you from the true way of everlasting life. So that way you'll join hand with him so you can be destroyed with him, man. Right. All right. That's right. You continue. And it says, oh, real quick, they spell mm -hmm. on that. Just like Morpheus said, Daniel on Matrix. Some just don't want to be unplugged from the Matrix, man. Mm -hmm. And that goes into Hosea 4 and 6. From exactly. my destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And because that, thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the most is gonna reject you in that time when you need salvation and deliverance, man. That's right, that's right. And what does it tell you in Rome? I think that's Romans 8 and 13. It says, What? Flee out of the midst of Babylon, man. And how are you gonna flee out of the midst of Babylon? You can't literally flee from the destruction of Babylon. Okay? You have to flee out of this place spiritually, man. Mm -hmm. And if you don't flee out of this place, if you don't flee out of this place spiritually, you're gonna die here. Cool. All right. Continuing on, Revelation chapter two and verse ten. I'm gonna break it back from the top. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, mm -hmm. man." 
from. You gotta believe that, man. That's right. Every man. brother in this troop gotta believe that, man. You gotta believe that the Yahweh Shemashah is faithful in all his things, man. That's right. Yeah, let every man be a liar and Yahweh Shemashah be true, man. That's right. You know? You so, say my words mm -hmm. do not void, man. So, okay. so we're gonna face suffering. We're gonna face tribulation, you know, but we're already suffering, man. All it is is a continuance to the end, man. And then once we meet that end, we understand that there's no more suffering, no more, man. It's gonna be everlasting joy, man, all right? And that's what we're hoping for, man. We're tired of being oppressed. We're tired of suffering. So we understand that we have to what? Endure to the end to be saved, all right? I gotta preach up real quick. Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter three and verse 12, it reads, yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, so if you're living godly, you'll be following what? These scriptures. Because these scriptures is instructions to righteousness. It says, all that will live godly in your house shall mashiach shall suffer persecution. Shall suffer persecution, man. So when we out there in those highways and those byways, what does it tell you to make your body a living sacrifice and holy acceptable, man? You see, so you're gonna, you're already, these elites already got your face. They already got everything, man. They already know where you live, where you work, where you stay, where you shit, sleep, piss at, man. You see, so while you're out on those highways and those byways, you have to understand that you're making your body a living sacrifice, man. And you shall be persecuted, man. Bring that back, Baba Kishon. Uh, this is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That will live godly in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So you got to be living after the law, says your commandments. Now, yes, it's, six thir it's 613 of them. But the ones that you can keep, man. So we are rehearsing these righteous acts. So you got to live godly. You got to be doing the will in the world. You got to be repenting, fasting, praying, keeping the high holy days. Now we in captivity. So Jake going, you know, Jake going to fuck up, man. Scripture say that it just didn't fall seven times. But risen back up again. But at the same time, you still got to be walking in the ways of your how about she how shot. Just think of it like this. Before you do something, ask yourself. Will your how be doing that if he was on earth right now? Okay, I asked the older Jake, he's always at the gas station that's by my house, and he be drinking, and he be like, man, when the Lord come back, he gonna kill them neo-Nazis that's over there in Ukraine. So I'm thinking, I'll, I'll be trying to, you know, get give Jake a little, a little piece here and there, but then I asked him, and he and Jake like to drink, man. Jake be drunk. So I asked him, I said, let me ask you a question, man. If the Lord was on earth right now, you think he'll be sitting up here at a gas station drinking? You think he'll be like all these other Jakes that like to smoke? You think he'll be out here dealing with harlots? So if, he, if the Lord wouldn't do that, you shouldn't either, man. Go ahead. Verse 12 at the top, it reads, Yea, and all that will live godly in mm -hmm. Yahweh HaMashiach shall suffer persecution. Shall suffer persecution, man. So we're going, we going, we going to get persecuted, man. We're going to, but that's why I read Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things, man. I'm gonna grab this piece up. Come this is uh. Oh, you want to grab one before that? Before that, Mark. 15, I got 15? it. Go ahead. This is the book of of John, chapter 15 and verse 20. Oh yeah. Remember the word that I said unto you: the servant is not greater than his lord. So, are you greater than Yahweh Shah? No. The suffering that Yahweh Shah went through, we couldn't even bear, man. So the little bit of hell and, and shit that you catching over here on this side, man, take it on the chin. Because you're not better than Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah had to go through a lot to get to where he's at right now. And that's why the scriptures say what? Through much, much tribulation shall he mm. enter into the kingdom of the Most High, uh -huh. man. So we're going we gonna to have to go through per hell, man. Take it back to Daniel 12 and 1. If the Lord had to send Michael the Archangel down here, you don't think it's going to be per hell on these streets? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. So if they persecuted Yahweh Shah, they gonna persecute the prophets, man. They're going to. Mm -hmm. That's the third precept we done brought out that talks about persecution. So you don't think that it's gonna happen, man? The words of the Lord are not void, man. Go ahead. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also, man. So we must die for the, for the name's sake, man. And that's why I'm gonna bring out this. This is Mark 13 and 13. And he shall be hated of all men. You can expound on this. Come. For my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Come. We gotta be what? Faithful unto death, man. And the most I will give us the crown of life because the death of this what? Flesh that we're in. That's, that's just right. the end of this flesh, but the spirit lives forever, man. That's right. So we're gonna reap what we sow, man. So that's why we're working, all right? Just so we can get a reward. 
And we just hope that the Most High will keep that spirit on us to continue to the end. Even though we suffer and we might be persecuted you know, in the prisons because the devil, which is Esau Edom, is going to get some of our, us. But all we got to do is just believe on your house by outside, man. All right? And then the ones that he don't, we're going to be what? As pilgrims on the earth, man. All right? No matter what happens, man, we got to keep that righteousness flowing in this earth, man. And I'm going to end it Because we're the light this. of this world. That's right. That's right. And let me end it on this. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Con, and it starts in the mindset, man. You know, we got to think of heavenly things, man. Not these earthly things. Because this earth, well, the world and the fashion of this world, all right, the ways of this world is going to pass away. That's right. There's going to be a new rulership. But it takes faith to believe that and to see that. That's right. Continue. And it says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. So the ones that's lodging in this world, in this in this earth that we're in right now, man. Lodging will be a place of rest. Micah 2 and 10 says, arise and depart, for this is not your rest. Mm. And arise and depart, how are you going to do it? Not by a plane, not mm. by getting a ticket to go to another country. That's right. All right? It starts mentally. That's right. Then it says, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Gone. So the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, is going to let this man, all right, go all out, man. All right, he was given a sword to take peace from the earth, man. That's and right. he's going to he's gonna have his last hoorah to, you know, slaughter you two-third jakes, you know, that the Most High ordained to be set for death and destruction at the end. But then there's certain ones that the Most High will have mercy upon, which is the one-third of the nation of Israel, of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why I say, whoa. All right, which means destruction to the ones that lodge in this place, man, the inhabitants of the earth, and say rejoice to the ones that think in spiritual things, thinking of the uh, heavens, man. And that's why when we do the prayer on earth as it is in heaven, all right, so the orderly arrangement in the heavens is going to come down on this earth, man. That's right. You can continue. And it says, because he knows that he have but a short time, See, man. this devil knows that his kingdom is coming <coughs> to an end, man. All right, and we just hope that we're gonna be on the right side when Yahweh Shah Hamashiach returns to claim the throne, man. That's right, because you damn sure don't want to be on the wrong side, man, because the wrong side gonna have you, uh, the wrong side gonna have you looking like Sarah Connor, uh, uh, Terminator 2, man, sitting there holding on to your car or to your fence or to your woman mm -hmm. or to your children, and then boom, you destroyed, man. Yeah, of course. But then so you gotta ask yourself, then you gotta ask yourself, okay, so what can I do to be saved, man? Mm -hmm. You have to come back to the truth and sincerity. To get held by Shimei Al Shah, man. Mm -hmm. We just read the servant is not greater than his master. Mm -hmm. So, what makes you think that because you got a lot of money, or what makes you think that you have a bunker, or what makes you think that you may escape the famine or the sword or any other destruction that the Lord gonna save you, man? Mm -hmm. No, if you ain't serving your by Shimei Al Shah, man, you dead. Girl, it's that simple. You're dead while you're living, man. It, it, it just, just like Timothy, just like Paul said, she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she's living, which that was going into the nigga woman. But still, it's the same thing for you, Jakes. For, for, for you, for you, for you, men out there. If you're living in pleasure here in Babylon, you're gonna die while you're living in your pleasure, man. So because that's why we said it's gonna mm -hmm. take you to Salakia. That's why we said uh, earlier that um, the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. You see, so it's gonna take a lot of you Jakes by surprise. So you're gonna be living in your pleasure. Hell, what's gonna happen if you in the club and you in the uh uh get jiggy with it? Then you just hear boom. That's gonna take you by surprise, man. Why? Cause you're living in pleasure. So with that, so it's better to suffer. Yeah, come on. It's better to suffer persecution than to be destroyed with the wicked, man. That's right. So That's with right. that, yeah, how rot is all this was edifying. Call her law. Yeah, how will by Shimmy outside by Shimmy Kakadash? Until next time, we say Shalom. Shalom. DTA. DTA. Abad Babal. Abad Babal. Soon. Soon.